What's up, Buzz Squad? It's your boy Dalton. Back at it again, introing deck profiles for Broderick, and he's bringing you his updated Narukami deck with the new Narukami stuff from first standard, I guess, or from V. Let's get right into this. Let's go. All right, guys, it's Broderick uh, from TCG Bus, and I'm back with my updated Narukami deck profile for February, I guess. Um. We finally got the Narukami support in standard, which makes this deck a million times better than what it used to be. Um, I'm so glad to show I get to show you guys my updated uh, profile and uh, what my options are. So let's get straight into it. So as usual, for our starter, we're still playing Hard Draco Kid. Still easily the, the best starter you're going to get for your money's worth. Uh, being able to rest himself and your opponent chooses one of his or her cards and your binds or drops something and bind it. And if there's no targets, you get to counter charge and give you a 3k. It's really good. And then plus it counter blasts when you throw it into the soul, giving it 3k, and then your opponent chooses a rear guard and then binds it. Still the best starter. Next, you still play four copies of Dragonic uh, Vanquisher Sparking. Um Still your best grade three, in uh, my honest opinion. Um, uh, Thunderstrike 4 ability, counter charge, or soul charge one at the beginning of your turn. Um, then your opponent chooses a card in his or her drop zone, and then bind it. Um, still gets your early access to your, your uh, Thunderstrikes. And then uh, counter blast one when you stride. Uh, your opponent chooses a card in their drop zone, you bind it. Then if you have a Vanguard, uh, if you have a Vanguard with Vanquisher, you get to bind one of their regards. So instant plus two for your plays. Next, we play three copies of your Excel marker. Um, a Detonic Stinger Dragon. Uh, unplaced Vanguard or Regard Circle, you counter blast one, choose the opponent's front row rear guard and bind it. And then he gets 5k on top of the Excel marker that you get. And then, the main reason why you use him is, when rode upon, uh, call this to a regard circle, then your vanguard gets 10,000 power. And then you get to use his first skill again. So you go this as first ride target, and then you go vanquisher and ride on top of this, and you call this to excel marker. Free advantage for regards. For our last grade threes, we play two zillion. Um, I said I wasn't going to get rid of this card. It's still easily one of your best cards in your entire deck, um, especially since he restands just for a simple counter blast and discard a card. Um, this on Excel Circle is a 21 by itself, and then you use your Vanquisher strides to get this to like scary numbers, and then give it a crit to boot. Like your opponent's going to go so neg to guard this card. For grade twos, we are playing. Four copies of Reckless's Dragon. So this is the new card. Uh, on Vanguard or Regard Circle, counter blast one, choose to punch Regard in front row, bind it. Then uh, on Regard Circle, when he attacks a Vanguard and there's one or less units in the front row, he gains 3k. So he turns into a 12k body on Regard Circle, which is really good. And plus he guarantees you your early game binding. Um, this card essentially makes it so your opponent doesn't want to call early game Regards, which is Huge disadvantage if they want to get you an early damage. Next, we play Four Torturra. Like, this is never going to change. This is honestly still one of your best cards. Um, can attack a Rearguard, which is fine. Um, on Rearguard Circle, he can gain 3k, and then when he hits, you kind of blast one, draw a card, and your opponent chooses a card in there, drops on you, bind it. Still, when you early access things, even if you don't have a card in their, they don't have a card in their binds on yet, you just counter blast one and you draw a card. It's still free hand advantage. Next, we play three copies of Plasmatron Dragon. Um, this is where I changed that work for Gazelle. Um, this on Excel Circle hits really big numbers. This plus uh, Voltage's skill gets you insane numbers. Okay, so his skill is Thunderstrike 4. Uh, when placed, you get to bind an opponent's drop zone card. 
and then you get to counterblast one, and he gets 2k for every card in your opponent's spine zone. So this on top of Closure Dragon or Voltage gets really scary numbers on top of Excel Circles. For our newest grade one, we play four copies of Rising Phoenix. Um, he is an 8k body, and his skill activates in drop zone. When your opponent's unit is draw, uh, binded, you can call this from regard to an open regard circle. If you do, he gets 3k. Um, the best thing about this card is that it's not GB restricted, and that it's a 10k shield, so in the early game you could drop this to guard and attack. And then as soon as you stride or use a regard skill, you get this back. And any other copies in the drop zone as well. So it's free advantage. Next, we play four copies of Smash Boxer Dragon. This card is legitly the easily one of the best grade ones that we have in our lineup. Uh, Generation Break One, you get uh, when he boosts a unit, they both get resist. And then at Thunder Strike Three, at the end of the battle, regardless if it hits or not, he throws himself into the soul. You get to counter charge one, and you draw a card. Like free advantage for a seven K booster was really really nice. For our final grade one, we are still playing for Stride Fodder. Um, I know technically I'm playing nine grade threes right now, but you essentially, or ten grade threes, you want to keep them on rear guard circle though, so this is what keeps this in track. Plus there's not a lot of other grade ones that we got from the new set um, that I'd be worth playing. Um, so I'm going to keep this in four and keep my ten grade three slots. All right. For the new triggered lineup, we are playing... Eight vanilla crit. Um, just having the additional 10k uh, during your turn uh, puts a lot of pressure on your units, especially when you give a crit to an Excel circle, gives it that much more advantage. Plus 15k shields are really good right now. Next, we are playing four draw trigger PGs. Honestly, I was still thinking about playing Anastasia over this card and then playing front triggers, but at the last minute I decided to play this. Um, essentially, Anastasia in this card would have done the same exact thing, but, you know, this ends up in your damage and you still get a free draw, so it's not like a complete waste of a PG. And then finally we are playing the four copies of Yoki. Um, she is the counter charge or soul charge uh, bind heal trigger. I finally got my hands on them as a promo, so they're really, really nice. And they should be played in your deck. <laughs> All right. Then obviously we are playing our gift markers. This one would be the Na uh, Naoki hot stamp if I got one, but I didn't sadly. But uh, I got the hollow one from the trial deck, so four is all you really need. All right, for G-Zone, we are still playing for V-Buster. Easily your best first stride. Um, his skill is uh, once per turn, uh, Soul Blast 1, or Soul Blast 1, and Persona flip himself in the G-Zone. Uh, choose a card in your opponent's drop zone and then bind it. Then they choose one on the rear guard and bind it as well. Then if you have more rear guards than your opponent, you get to choose three of your units and they gain 3k power. Then at Generation Break 3, Thunderstrike 7, all your units in the front row gain 5k power. Your Vanguard, go, your Vanguard goes critical and get an additional drive check. This is really important because you can now early game Thunderstrike 7 really easy. And especially if you go second and you do G-Guard, then you get like free advantage for first stride. Really nice. You still play 4 Voltage. It's... Easily the reason why XL circles are so good right now. Um, uh, once per turn, skill, act, uh, persona flip himself, then he gets an on-hit skill, which is completely irrelevant. The main reason why you play him, he's got a continuous generation break 3 skill. Uh, during your turn, all units in the front row gain 3k power for every card in your opponent's spine zone. This in Excel Circles is like your worst nightmare because they'll hit for like 60k on a turn. 
and especially if you have Vanquisher, like you're talking 60k with a crit and then attacking multiple times is applies a lot of pressure on your opponent. Now we're playing the one-ups, we're still playing one VMAX. Uh, VMAX still applies that end-game pressure, generation break three, you counter blast two, and regardless if you hit during the battle, um, you just deal your damage to the opponent damage and it's just free advantage. Um, I haven't really used this other skill to um, to attack rear guards because you're binding them anyways. It comes up every now and again, but for the most part, free damage is free damage. Next, we are playing Generation Break 8, Closer Dragon. Now, this card is also not the reason why Excel Circles are scary now. Uh, we got uh, Generation Break 8. Uh, when he's placed, uh, choose all fighters' rear guards and retire them. Then your opponent chooses all cards in their drop zone and then binds them. And then all your units gain 2k power. All your units gain 2k power for every card in each player's bind zone. So if you have heal triggers that you bound during your turn, like that's 4k bonus that you get on top of all the stuff that you already binded and stuff off a of close dragon skill. Really, really good. Then we are playing the one drachma. I didn't play commands or sweep tack dragon because it's just not that great. Especially with all the stuff that binds stuff for you, anyways. Drachma is just free advantage if you know your opponent's got nothing. So just free stride this, and then you can just go on Excel circles and start beating them down that way. Uh, for G Guardians, um, I did change them up. Um, we are still playing two Impede Dragon. Um, he is your G Guardian flipper. Uh, uh, on place, you get to bind your opponent, choose one of his or her regards, and binds it. Then, if you have two or less regards than your opponent, you get they choose another rear guard and then put it in the drop zone. So free advantage. Plus easy way to get GB8. Then we are playing three copies of Paul Work Dragon. I was playing the other G Guardian that you bind to and you get 5k shield. But honestly, 35k shields and putting more units from the rear guard to the drop zone to fuel your skills is just honestly better. Alright guys, that's been my Narakami deck profile uh, for the premium. Um, you guys will have to wait a bit for the standard. I'm still picking stuff up. Um, plus, you might have to wait until after regionals happens. Um, we have a Discord channel. Come out and check it out. Um, let us know what you think that you guys' builds are playing, and I want to clearly know so I can change my build for the future. Um, we also have a Patreon. Please go support us, as well as our other social media. So please come check us out. Um, ben Brodick, catch you guys later.